the road, up the hill, right where we need it. Now that hopefully this has had a chance to cool down enough. Oh, 258, plenty. Good. Uh, I triggered the service engine soon like that uh, service engine soon light keeps coming on because uh, it's got a tuner on it and the, it reaches a normal uh, higher boost pressures and it and it's uh, the computers or the trucks ECM is made for so when it sees that it triggers a code nothing to worry about it just happens every time we put the tuner on it what's next Ah, yes, I'm hooking. Uh, let's see, there's my diesel clean. Uh, let's get some box of wood here. There we go. That ought to work. <laughs> My favorite, the lazy man's jack. In the meantime, safety chains. Is this a rumor or not? I've heard that if you cross your chains, they can be stronger. Leave a comment in the comments section. Does that help or not, crossing the chains? I've heard it does. Maybe it's... Whoop. Maybe it's just a rumor, I don't know. And disconnect this. Lights. There we go. All right, weight distribution bars. These help a lot. What they do is it creates a bind on the hitch in the trailer and it actually puts more of the front trailer weight on the axles rather than on the vehicle. When I take them off, watch the suspension on the truck go down. Actually, I'll have to raise this back up for you to see that. Because it'll sag a little bit. Not, not like tremendously, but reasonably, it's visible. Okay, watch the truck as I take these weight distribution bars off. Now, the majority of the weight is going to be on the left one because the truck's at home. Well, that one didn't do much. This other one will do a lot though. really helps level out the truck and the trailer. That way the truck isn't sagging. Like I said, not much of a difference, but it's there. All right, these pop out. Take my little lock off. This is where the sway bar would normally be. I don't have it on there because you can't make sharp turns with it on, otherwise it'll bind between the trailer and the hitch and you can bend it. Especially when I made that turn to back up the driveway. So that's where the sway bar would normally be. A must have for trailers this size, especially when you're doing 70 miles an hour. Tractor trailers pass you, they like to suck you right into their path. With the sway bar on though, it solves the whole problem. This is what it looks like. It's almost got like a, it's almost like brake pads inside here. Turn this lever to loosen it, then this will slide in and out, like so. This goes right here. Pull this pin out, this one goes right here. You tighten this down, it clamps down on the center piece 
and it reduces almost all of the sway. There's still a little bit of it, but when you compare to what it's like without a sway bar on, there's no comparison. That's all that is. Kind of a neat lock here. There it is. That's all that's to it. That slides up. Should slide up. There we go. All I have to do is push a button, lazy me. hanging up on the hitch again. Sometimes you gotta jump on it. Huh. I'm gonna need more blocks of wood actually. That ought to do it. Take two. Lock it back up. Ah, come on. Cooperate with me. There we go. Ah, you know what? I'm going to set the camera down and do it this way. Sometimes you just need two hands. There we go. I like to hang my chains up like this. Makes it a little tidier. That's just my PHO, my personal humble opinion.